Don't stop giving it up for Josh. Everybody give it up for him one time. I'm not a Tom Brady fan. Go Peyton Manning. But when a man goes to nine fucking Super Bowls, hate on him all you want. Best football player to ever touch a football. <laughs> Amen? I mean, for real, let's get real about it. I'm a Cowboys fan. Like I said, fuck Tom Brady. But anyway, <laughs> let's talk about Shorty tonight. Who wants to hear a little story about me? People. Josh, you didn't clap, so guess what? <laughs> we up here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> you the only one I've seen, buddy. I just call somebody else out. Anyway, God put this on my heart today. This is no lie. I was sitting here, and I had a whole little skit. A whole, whole little skit planned up. I was sitting right there on the arm that chair, and my ex-wife has been talking to me all day about my kids. She gives me a message out of the blue now that says, I have not bought Hot Pockets in seven years. <laughs> when I say that, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to hear a bad story. But guess what? I did it. I don't give a fuck if you like it, but we're going to hear about it. First off, y'all going to clap, clap then here. All right, thank y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> first off, my first marriage was all my fucking fault. I treated, I treated her bad. I did. I was a dope head. I was strung out on dope. I was on house rest and I went to the penitentiary for three and a half years with her. Let me tell you this, that woman didn't call a lot one time on me. The past two women I've been with, I took four years for a bitch and I almost caught a marijuana. I did catch a marijuana charge over the next one. <laughs> it's real life, y'all. Fuck it. You don't talk about it. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I come home from house rest one night. I like eating Xanaxes and nodding out, y'all. If y'all know what that is, if you don't, Google it. So, I'm sitting there and I'm bitching, me and hers arguing. She hits me, and I don't know what we was bitching about, but put it this way, I was mad and she hit me in the back of the head with an ashtray. I didn't think nothing about it, so guess what? I was like, fuck this shit, I'm going to make a hot pocket. I get in the kitchen. And now this is no shit, I like pepperoni hot pockets. Anybody knows me back in the day, that's what was in my little refrigerator. I get in there and I put it in the microwave like everybody does, but I don't put mine in that little slide. I'm like, fuck it, slap it on the thing, let's get it out in a minute. I'm sitting there, you know, I mean, when you're doped up, boys, y'all nod out. I'm like, yes, waiting on this microwave to go. I hear ding, I'm like, oh shit. All right, my hot pocket's ready. As soon as that hot, as soon as it went ding, Meg, my, my, my first wife, walked to the door, like coming in the kitchen. I didn't even see where she was at. Only thing I heard was, you ain't nothing but a son of a bitch. And I thought, you fucking whore. <laughs> this, boys, I did, I swear, I looked like Randy Johnson throwing a fucking baseball. I turned around that hot pocket so hot, I'm telling you, turned around and I hit her dad in the face with it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I never felt so bad in my, in my life right then. I was like, she went to the hospital for it, y'all. She went to the hospital. All right, I got one more minute. I got a joke that I met somebody in Nashville that acts like people in Unicoi County, y'all. That's the hometown where I'm from. Look, I'm not going to bash them. They better start following me is all I got to say. Anyway, I walk into the doghouse. Does anybody know what the doghouse is? The bar? Anybody? It's a little bar somewhere out Midtown or some shit. Anyway, I walk in. I've been talking to this girl on plenty of fish. Look, attitude is cool as a mother lover. Look, I look like the state of Tennessee says Shorty can't have a gun. When I walk in this bar, y'all, I thought I was gonna have to go get a bow and arrow because everybody in this bar look like dogs, for real. I walk in, I know the girl that was sitting there that know this girl that she didn't know I know her. Yeah, I can talk, can I? Anyway, this girl looks at me because I was nice to her and I walk up, give her a hug and I say, how you doing? She takes two drinks of wine. Now, I'm not talking about the little wine glasses, y'all. I know what wine glasses is. She took two drinks, whole glass down. This woman looks at me and said, what are you doing here? I said, I'm here to see the general manager here. She's like, this is no lie. I can't make this up. Get the fuck out of here, shorty. Get the fuck out of here now. Bitch, don't tell me what to do. Never mind. Why is it you want me out of here? You're not going to ruin this. She thought just because I was going to fuck this ugly bitch and not talk to her again, Look, if you don't like me, I ain't got to be around your dumb ass. Only reason she's cold is because she's throwing money to have friends, y'all. And the reason I said that is because I told her I'd say it. Ladies and gentlemen, get up for Josh. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>